Hi children. Today we are going to continue with chapter three, exercise four and five. We are going to see. So under four and five, we are going to see how to do multiplication by a two-digit number and three-digit number. So that is any number which is multiplied with two digit and any number which is multiplied with the three-digit number. Okay. So first we will see numbers multiplied with two digit with two numbers and then we will move to the three-digit multiplication. So first I have written three hundred twenty-four, which is multiplied with twenty-five, which is a two-digit number. So here I am writing the place value ones, tens, hundreds. So here ones, tens. So in exercise three we saw how to do multiplication with one-digit number. No, the same concept is applied here. So first ones, tens, hundreds. I am writing for this number four, two, three. So this number has to be multiplied with twenty five. So this twenty five is a two digit number which has ones, tens. Okay. So always when you do multiplication, first you have to complete the ones place value. Okay. So here I am going to take this five first, which is there in the ones place. Okay. So with this five, I am going to complete all the multiplication which is there in the first row. Okay, four, two, three. I am going to do multiplication with five, and then only I am going to move on to the tens place which is there in the two. Okay, so first five I am taking, and I am going to do multiplication from the ones place value. So five into four. So this five is the ones place, and from this five, this ones place I am multiplying. Five into four gives five fours are twenty. So this twenty zero has to be written here, and this two has to be carry forwarded to the next place value. Okay. So next five into two. Okay. Five twos are ten. So this ten plus carry forwarded value gives twelve. You will get. Twelve. So in twelve, two has to be written here, and this one has to be carried forward to the next place value. So again, from five only, I'm going to do multiplication. Five into three. Five threes are fifteen. So this fifteen has to be added with one. So that what you'll get fifteen plus one, you will get sixteen. So in sixteen, you will write six here. And this one should be carry forward to the next place value, but there is no number here, so as it is, I'm writing here. Okay, so now we have completed the multiplication of ones place value. Okay, so first you should take whenever you have more than one digit of multiplication, first you should take the ones place values value. With that value, you should multiply all the numbers which is there in the above. Okay, so after completing the multiplication of ones place, now I am moving to the tens place value. So in tens place, I have two. So now I am going to do multiplication with two table with all above numbers. Okay, and there also again I should start from the ones place. Okay, so before starting, I should give zero in the place of ones place in the second row. Okay, because Now I'm going to do multiplication with the tens place value. Okay, always this place, the first place towards your right side is your ones place, right? Since we are doing multiplication with tens place, this ones place should be zero. So you should give zero here in the ones place in the second row, not in the first row. Okay, so first row is a ones place value. That is why we are starting as it is. This zero we got by five fours are twenty, okay. So, but when you move to the second row, you should give one zero for the ones place because we are doing multiplication with the tens place value. Understood? So now two into four, two fours are eight, okay. Then two twos are two twos are four. Next two threes are six. Understood? So now, after completing the tens place value, you will add these two rows. That is, this is ones, 
This is tens. After doing ones place, after multiplying tens place, you will add both the place values. Zero plus zero. Zero plus zero. That is also you should start from the ones place, not from your highest place. Always start from the towards your right side, which is ones place. Zero plus zero gives zero. Two plus eight gives ten. So ten is a two digit number. So ones place you have zero. This one has to be carried forward to the next place value. So one plus six gives seven. Seven plus four gives eleven. Okay, so eleven is a two digit number. This one writing here and this one carry forward to the next number. Okay, so one plus one gives two and two plus six gives eight. Okay, so now after doing multiplication, you have added the both rows of ones and tens, and you got the value eight thousand hundred. Okay, so always keep in mind that whenever you do multiplication with a two-digit number, you should first do multiplication with one place value. Complete all the numbers which is given to you in the above, and then move to the tens place value. That is. Before starting multiplication with the tens place value, you are supposed to give zero in the second row of first place, which is ones place. Okay. So using the same concept, you are going to do one more sum. Okay. So ones, tens, hundreds, which is two, zero, six, has to be multiplied with forty six. Okay, so this six is a ones place. This four is a tens place. So first, I should do multiplication with ones place. So six into two, six twos are twelve. So two here, that one has to be carry forward to the next two place value. Okay, so now six into zero. So six into zero gives zero. What does the property says? Any number which is multiplied with zero will give you the value zero. So six into zero gives zero. So zero plus one. Always the carry forward value should be added. No. So zero plus one gives zero. See whenever zero is multiplied with any number, you will get zero. Zero is added with any number, you will get. Same number. Sorry, first I told zero. Sorry. So zero plus one gives one. Whenever you do multiplication with zero, you will get zero. But whenever you do addition with zero, you will get the same value. So six into zero gives zero, and zero plus one gives one. Okay. So six 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 into six 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 are thirty six. Six. And three has to be carried forward to the next place, but I don't have any value here, so I'm writing this three as it is in the next place of six. So now, if you see this ones place value multiplication is over. The six has multiplied with two and zero and six. Now the ones place is over. Now comes to the tens place. So before multiplying the tens place, what you're supposed to do? You're supposed to do zero. You're supposed to give zero in the second row of the towards your right side in the first place, which is the ones place value. If you see, it is a ones place value. In ones place, you have to give zero because we are doing multiplication with tens place value. That is why we are giving this zero. Okay. So without giving the zero, if you start giving the value here. You will get the wrong answer. Okay. So next we are going to do multiplication with four. Four into two. Four twos are eight. Four into zero. So four into zero means zero. Any number which is multiplied with zero, you will get zero. So with this zero, we uh, we we didn't get any carry forward. So the same zero will come. Okay. So four into two gives eight. Four into zero gives zero. Four into six gives twenty-four. 
4 year and 2 year. So since there is no number, we are not carry forwarding this 2 and we are writing as it is. So now we have done the multiplication of tens place. Now add it. 2 plus 0 gives 2. 1 plus 8 gives 9. 6 plus 0 gives 6. 3 plus 4 gives 7. And 2 and here there is no value so 0. Okay. So 2 plus 0 gives 2. So now you got the value 27,692. So always keep in mind that Whenever you do multiplication with 0, you will get 0. The number can be anything. Okay. So, whenever you do addition with 0, the number can be anything. The same number will come. So, if it is 2 means 2 will come. Okay. So, hope you have understood how to do uh, multiplication with 2 digit number.